No one can come up with a legitimate argument why Piccadilly is the worst map on uh, in Call of Duty history. I'm, I am not taken up for Piccadilly at all. I think it's a fucking horrible map. But here's everyone's take on it. At least I, they, they like free fall. At least I can run around on that map. Okay, that's one thing. The map had flow. You run around. I got gameplays on it. That's probably the same thing, but that's two things. Run around and they got gameplays on it. Um, I say, why? Why is it a bad map? Like, why is Piccadilly worse than this map? It just buses all over the place. Well, this map is just junk all over the place. Just junk. It, it, like, I am, I am passionate about this map is horrible. And, and they say stuff like, at least I can run around on this map. Seriously? At least you can run around on this map? Tell me the reason you can run around on this map. If this map was on Modern Warfare, this map, you really think you can run around on this map? Dead silence is the reason you can run around on this map and you can hear more on Modern Warfare. That's my point. That, that's my counter argument. Because on Piccadilly? Piccadilly? On Piccadilly? When I have the option to choose dead silence, I can run around on that map also. On Piccadilly? I'm not saying it's a good map. I, I hope, I don't know if people are counter arguing with me thinking I think Piccadilly is a good map. I just think it's the second worst. This is the worst map. Like, if the loud footsteps was on this game and the good hearing and all that was on this game, oh, my God, this map would sound like horses running around the whole map. You'll be confused. You won't be able to see anything. Uh, their counter-argument is gameplays, and, and I got chem strikes on this map. Uh, who didn't? It's just a, ba it's a bad map. Like, what the fuck? That mean it's a better map? And people saying Euphra I, I, Euphrates Bridge is a terrible map also, but, like, this map right here is a horrible map. Piccadilly is second. You had on dead silence. That's why you were able to run around on this map. Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother, fucking, five. What up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. As you can see, I'm playing some call. Of duty, modern warfare HD, and I am playing on Euphrates Bridge. And uh, little do a, a lot of people know, Euphrates Bridge has nothing to do with invasion. Nothing, nothing to do with the original invasion. Um, I guess it's a sign that we're gonna get invasion later. Like, later on in the life of this game. Uh, Euphrates Bridge is a fucking horrible map. I cannot move on this map. I can't move. Uh, I made a commentary saying no one can move on this map. And Brutal Sim, he sent me a video of the game 360. That's the game 360, Brutal. You know, that, that's one of the best fucking pub players of all time. Like you're showing. Show me Mark. Let me see Mark from Arizona. Let me see his gameplay. 
Nobody can move. That's why no one moves. And if we move, footsteps are involved. Like, that's when they start hearing us run around on footsteps. So it's line of sights and it's footsteps. If Ninja was in the game... Uh, or why is... Why is this called Dead Silence if it's a picture of a ninja? I, I guess that's not a ninja. That's somebody with a mask. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm pointing at the... Y'all can't see me, but I'm pointing at the... The Dead Silence thing right there. And my argument with the Piccadilly and the... the what is it? Free Fall. I'm not picking up for Piccadilly, guys. I, I really think it's terrible. I think it's one of the worst maps ever in Call of Duty. The second worst. The worst is free fall. Y'all talk about y'all can run around on free fall. Yes, you can. You can run around on the whole game and goes because it has dead silence in it. And the hearing isn't super loud in that game. Everything in this game is super loud. Everything. The airplanes, the everything, every single thing. When you start a match on the other side of you, Freddy's Bridge, the other side, not this side that I started on. When you come in in the tanks, pause, wow. When you come in, when you arrive on the map in the tanks, it's loud. It's like too loud. The game is so loud. When I turn the game off and then I watch a YouTube video or I watch Pornhub or anything, it's low, like it's so low, I gotta turn YouTube all the way up or Pornhub. I gotta turn it up. Then when I put the game on, I gotta turn it down. Everything is so loud. That's my, that's my argument of you can run around on free fall and you can on Piccadilly. When the ninja option is available, not ninja, I keep calling it ninja. The dead silence option is available on Piccadilly and I turn it on, I can run around. I can flank, I can do all kind of stuff. But soon as that turns off, they hear you. You can't flank, you can't run around. You can't, Piccadilly, you can't run through the middle of the map. You can't. Free fall, you can't because there's walls there. You're acting like if the the, op the map was open in the middle, you can run through the middle of the map. You can't. Basically, no Call of Duty map you can run through the middle. Uh, I, I, guys, I'm sorry. I really hate Free Fall. And I hated that they did the Nuketown approach where, hey, guys, uh, this is bonus. Yeah, this is a bonus map. Yeah, it's optional. You can download it optional. They saw nobody was playing it, and then they forced us to download it. I hate that shit. I hate when they do that to us with Nuketown. Every, every Treyarch game. It's a Nuketown. It's annoying. It's annoying. Not saying... I, I hate Nuketown, but it's nowhere near on the level of Piccadilly and uh, Free Fall. Nowhere near on that level. I wonder who was in a gunfight. Like, who was in a gunfight, right? You came up here, boom. You're in a gunfight, and you discovered that, you know, invasion was right there. How do... Uh, 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 wow, I don't even look off the map when I'm playing. I never look at the outside of the map. But who discovered that? There's the, the fucking castle, there's that porch that everybody jumps on and camps. Camping been in Call of Duty forever. There's that store right there. That's where we start. There's the store. That's crazy, man. Who discovered that? You're, I can't say a genius, but that's a good discovery. I mean, are they telling us that 
this is going to be a future map? Is it like some type of Easter egg? Like, this is a future map, guys. Imagine people camping in that store with claymores. Imagine people camping in the castle right there. In the palace. Another palace with claymores. Uh, damn. I, 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 you know, I, I wouldn't mind this map. It's definitely not the best. Nowhere near it. But it's, you know, a step up. It's a familiar map with everyone. Everyone's familiar with this map. So let's take a trip to Modern Warfare 2. Let's go to Modern Warfare 2 and let's see if the Modern Warfare 2 version has anything to do with Euphrates Bridge. The invasion of Modern Warfare 2. Let's see if it has any thing to do with Euphrates Bridge. I don't think they can think that far ahead or that far. You know, I don't think they have the competence. I don't think that this these people are Infinity War. You know? I have, I have no faith to think that these people right now are Infinity War. Okay, so we're on the bridge here and... It's not a bridge at all. Like, it's not that type of bridge. So, so Euphrates Bridge is not this. Doesn't have anything to do with Modern Warfare 2 invasion. Probably just an Easter egg that we had to find. Giving us a sign that this is what's to come in the future. I'm out.